I'm very excited that I'm on your food truck. Uh, a food truck, it's like the best, healthiest fast food in town these days. It is, and you know, we've got our whole kitchen set up. It's small, like a galley, but it works really well. One of the things I wanna show you today is our ceviche. We have teenagers and adults and all kinds of people who haven't tried ceviche and they taste it on, from the truck and they just fall in love. So it's a very fresh dish, obviously with fish. Yes. Vegetables. Yeah. Easy to make? So easy to make. Okay. So we're using mahi today and also some shrimp and fresh lime juice. Limes are magic in recipes. You know, lemons, limes, citrus of any kind just kind of brightens up and makes that tang that's sort of unbelievable. So you take the lime juice, you put it on the, the fish and on the shrimp that's chopped up. And about 15 minutes later, you can see the difference. It's just a little bit more opaque. And then I'm going to put it in to the, to the bowl. So the lime juice is cooking the fish. It does. It cooks the outside layer. But you know, if you're funny about uh, raw food, because the inside is still raw, you can always just quickly poach it if you prefer. So we have mahi-mahi, a little shrimp, and, and we have cucumber. Yes. Now, I love a ceviche that has a lot of vegetables, because you know, like 50-50, that gives it that crunch. I put a little bit of freshly diced red onion, and then some jalapenos. Spicy. And I don't know, taste one, let me know. Is that spicy? Because if it isn't, I can put some more in. Mm, no, it's good. Is it not too spicy? No, not too spicy. And a little bit of uh, tomato and some fresh cilantro. Mm. Another one of those just has that flavor. It does. And the great thing about this, Mary Sue, is this is something people can grow in pots in their backyard, yes. along with tomatoes, you, cucumbers. Absolutely. You can grow the most amaz amazing tomatoes. So we just mix that up really well. And then we also are going to put a little aioli. We have a cilantro aioli, sort of like a mayonnaise. You could put a little olive oil, salt and pepper. But I'm going to just put in a little bit of this aioli. The most important thing about cooking for me is you have to always taste it as you go, you know? Well, let me taste it then. <laughs> mm. So always taste your food as you go. It needs a little bit of salt. So the thing about the truck food is making it portable, you know? So we serve this in these little taco cones, and we put a little slice, you know, it wouldn't be the Border Grill without some California avocados. Uh, avocados, it's like my favorite thing to eat. You know, some people scoop them out, but I like to peel the, this back because that part, that dark green part has all the nutrition. Right there. Right there. So then I like to just take a couple of slices and put it on top, and then another little bit of a drizzle of the aioli right over that. The wonderful thing about this, Mary Sue, is that you made this literally in under five minutes. What's the cost of this dish? I think if you make this at home, you know, for a family of four, you can make it for probably, you know, six or seven dollars. And then you have a ceviche, easy to make, under ten dollars, and so healthy for you. Wonderful, Mary Sue. What else are we going to be cooking? Another healthy dish, I'm assuming? Absolutely. You know, I'm gonna show you how to make a vegetable taco. And honestly, you could do this with leftovers. You could do it with whatever you have on hand. And, and I find I can get kids to eat vegetables if I put it in a tortilla. If there's one thing I'm all about getting more fruits and vegetables into the kids' mouths, we're gonna make it out of uh, sweet potatoes that have been diced and cooked, and these might be left over from dinner a couple nights ago. And I'm gonna add some uh, caramelized onions first, some black beans. I'm gonna have some roasted poblanos. I've got some poblanos roasting there so I could just show you how it's done. You see, we just put them on the burner or on a, a flat top like this or even an electric burner until it gets nice and black. And then I'm gonna heat the tortillas up. We have these lovely handmade tortillas. Just smell that. Now, are these corn tortillas? Yes, corn tortillas. So these are gonna be heating and then I'm gonna also just add a little bit of onions. Oh, and the best thing is this panela cheese. Cheese! Which I'm putting on here till I get it nice and black. So we take those onions, we add a little bit of the sweet potato, some of these nice roasted poblano chilies we're adding in. We throw away a lot of food and getting leftovers and turning them into new dishes is a wonderful thing to really advocate and talk about because I'm sorry, these are the most beautiful leftovers I've ever seen. Having kids myself and having a mom who was a depression baby, you know, food waste in my home when I was growing up, that was just not allowed. We're gonna start making our tacos. We're gonna take the tortillas, 
And we're going to add uh, some of this beautiful um, mixed vegetables with a little bit of that panela cheese. I'm going to finish that off with just a little bit of this other kind of cheese, which is salty, kind of like a Parmesan or a Romano. So it gives it a little bit of depth, the flavor. And then a little bit of our corn relish. And maybe we'll add just a tiny bit of, now this is all restaurant stuff. At home, you don't have to do the corn relish. If you have a little leftover corn from the grill the night before, you can add that. I love it. It's very colorful, and I think that's uh, one key thing when we're looking at dishes at home or if we're buying food when we're out, is if it's brown, it's not nutritious. It's got to have some color, and this definitely does. Thank you so much, Mary Sue. And there you have it, guys. Nutritional food does not have to be expensive. You know, you can go out there and create beautiful, colorful dishes for less than you think. And if you'd like to find out more about Mary Sue, you can find her on her website, bordergrill.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you.